if you get a job in a place like london you are doomed because the point in time where i'll pick up my phone and say cleo ends are not meeting can i have 200 pounds i'll give you next week can i have 100 pounds i'll give you can you really survive on 1500 pounds here in the uk can you you can't you just can't welcome back guys to my channel the channel where we keep things real why do i always say we keep things real is because when i come and present things to you guys i do not want to sugarcoat anything or tell you things which are lies just to make you happy or to tell you things that you want to hear which are going to make you happy i tell you the truth as it is so when i posted a video yesterday there was this particular question and i'm going to read it so this is the question the beautiful tarot asked she said hi popo i was looking at accommodation and it's quite pricey is it really possible to live on the salary of a carer in the uk or is there anywhere else where you can find cheaper accommodation i gave her my honest response and my honest response prompted a lot of people to come into my inbox and start asking me questions so is it really worthy to come as a healthcare assistant am i going to be able to survive on a healthcare assistant salary and the answer is no you cannot survive on a healthcare assistant salary and i'm going to be revealing it to you in this video why i am saying you can't survive on a healthcare assistant salary i am a nurse and my basic salary is a thousand pounds or one thousand two hundred pounds more than a healthcare assistant salary but i cannot survive on that salary so i'm going to be sharing this with you in this video and i'm going to be telling you things that you should do before you append your signature on any contract because you don't want to append your signature on any contract and later on regret it when you are now here in the uk the whole point of having this youtube channel guys is to give you information and when i'm giving you information you make informed decision with the information that i'm going to give you so welcome to my channel man where we keep things real my name is pauline moyo Popo case is my name keeping it real is how we run my asses here to stay you want to come to you can man Popo got you covered and the chest pay slips k homes we've got it all we're gonna show you too Keeping it real is how we roll with on sugar cart. You wanna know some truths, man? You better stay tuned, man. Keeping it real, man. We run sugar cart. <laughs> As we all know, the healthcare assistant salary is twenty thousand four hundred pounds per annum. But people are under the impression that if it's twenty thousand four hundred pounds per annum, you are going to take that twenty thousand four hundred and pocket it. That is not the case guys here in uk there is tax and the tax chops your money so what i'm going to do right now i'm going to explain to you your salary and how it's going to be broken down and how much you're going to be taking home and from how much you're going to be taking home that's when i'm going to see whether you're going to be able to survive on that salary so let's get into it so your yearly salary is 20,400 pounds per annum and from that 20,400, 12,571 is tax free. This means 7,829 pounds will be taxed at 20% and 20% 20 of 7,829 is 1,565 pounds. So if we subtract the 1,565 pounds from 7,829, it means you will get 6,264. So for the whole year, you will get 6,264 plus 12,571, which makes 18,835 per annum so if we divide that money by 12 months it means on average you're going to be getting 1569 pounds per month so you have seen guys you are going to be taking home at the end of the month roughly 1500 pounds can you really survive on 1500 pounds here in the uk can you you can't 
you just can't i know people will jump in and say oh but you can do agency work oh but you can do extra shift fair enough you can do extra shift but let me tell you something uh, about agency work if you're on a tier two visa you are bound by the law and you're supposed to abide by the law and the law says you can only work 20 hours or 20 additional hours with second employer which means per given week you can only work one extra shift so this basically means per given week you can only take one extra shift that is if you even have an agency to work for remember when i came here to uk i started off as a healthcare assistant and 1500 pounds was not enough to cater for my needs so there was a point in time where i'll pick up my phone and say cleo ends are not meeting can i have 200 pounds i'll give you next week can i have 100 pounds i'll give you next week borrow me 50 pounds i'll give you next week because i was failing to make ends meet with my salary so guys before you secure any job if you are given a job offer there are certain things that you need to look at before you actually append your signature on the contract and say i'm taking that job first of all you have to look at where the job is located if you get a job in a place like london i know people always bite my head for saying that if you get a job in a place like london you are doomed because things are expensive when you look at a place where you're going to be working you're going to look at the cost of living and if i shared a video with you where i said you can use numbio.com because it's reliable in uh, comparing the cost of living and i'm going to leave the link in the description box let us just look at what numbio says about the cost of living in london Numbio is a very reliable source and it states that summary about the cost of living in London, United Kingdom. Family of four estimated monthly cost at £3,026 without rent. A single person estimated monthly cost are £861 without rent. So let us see how much rent is in London. So I chose the cheapest accommodation and is currently on offer. A one bed house is £1,100 per month. Then a two bedroom house, uh, it will be £1,400 per month. And then if you choose a three bedroom house, it will cost you £1,600 per month. And let us bear in mind that we said your salary is going to be £1,500 per month. So is £1,500 per month enough to sustain you? So guys, Numbio is a very reliable source and, and as you can see, according to Numbio, for just four people, four members of the family, for you to be able to survive in London for one month, you need roughly about £3,000. So you see guys, from just £1,500 that you are going to be getting on a monthly basis, some of the accommodation which is available in London is actually more than the monthly salary. You can say even if you supplement and say i'm going to work five days a week that money is not going to go very far you have maybe an extra 500 extra 600 extra 800 per given month so which means if you are coming here to work as a healthcare assistant you have to be prepared that you're not only going to be working 37 for five hours if you contact the station for five hours or 44 hours you are prepared to be working four shifts five shifts six shifts per week I am a nurse here and I work in Northern Ireland and Northern Ireland is one of the cheapest places here in UK. I cannot afford to work three days a week. Most of the time I work four days, five days, six days or whatever number of days within the same company so that at least I boost my salary. And my salary is already how many? £1,000 to £1,200 more than a healthcare assistant salary. I'm not going to come and stand in front of you and lie to you and tell you that the healthcare assistant salary is going to be enough for you. The fact that you are going to have to supplement your salary, it means it is not enough for you. Because if it was enough, you are not going to supplement that salary. If my salary was enough, I was not going to work more than three days to supplement my salary. I hope you get what I'm saying, guys. So when you are choosing a job, first of all you look at the area and in that area you have to look at number one the transport connections 
there are certain remote areas here in uk where at times for example in limavat in northern ireland i know people who work there in limavat northern ireland and when they first came here to uk these people were, were basically spending 12 pounds to go to work using a taxi in the morning and 12 pounds to go back home so they were basically paying 25 pounds per day on tax just to go to and from work who can afford to pay 25 pounds per day on transport so you have to be careful that when you are choosing a when you are choosing a job if they say the job offer is in northern ireland or it's in newry you have to go you have to go on google you have to check where is new is their transport what transport connections are they using are they using a train are they using a bus how much is the cost of the bus on a monthly basis how much is the cost of the train on a monthly basis there are certain areas which are remote here in uk whereby you can wait for a bus for one hour you can wait for a bus for two hours until you are forced to take a taxi to work so can you imagine if you have to take a taxi to work at 25 pounds per day from 1500 pounds and you work maybe 20 days how much are you going to pay per month you calculate that you remember me i'm not good in maths so it's important that you check wherever you're going to be working and see whether you're going to be able to access any transport because from this salary which you're going to be getting which is not a lot anyway don't want to be chowing a bulk of it and using it on transport then the number two thing that you need to look at is the useful amenities within the area if i'm coming to to live here in belfast i have to look around do i do we have schools in the area do we have shops and all that because when you come to an area you don't want to go to a remote area where if you are coming maybe with your spouse your spouse is not going to be able to secure a job because you're in a remote place there are no shops there is nothing you understand you have to look at the cost of living within that area i've already talked of the rent how much is the rent how much is the food and another important thing that you need to look at how much is the council tax in that particular area because some areas in northern ireland we don't pay council tax we don't pay for water so if you're coming to northern ireland you don't bother yourself about council tax but if you are going to a place like england you have to find out the area where you're going how much is the council tax in that area because when it comes to council tax the highest amount of money that you can pay for council tax per year is two thousand is above two thousand pounds because it's graded from a to h and h is way above two thousand pounds so from the salary that you are going to be getting if you choose a place where the council tax is high already from that salary you've removed so many things it's already one thousand five hundred and per given year you have to remove two thousand uh two thousand and something so obviously if your council tax is 2300 pounds per year it's also going to eat a chunk of your money so guys you really have to be careful when you are signing your contracts or when you're choosing a place to go to work in because imagine if you are to have a car as well which means um you have to think of fueling the car you have to think of road tax you have to th think of car insurance and all those things so basically if you are on a healthcare assistance salary you're gonna have to be prepared that when you come the side you will work very 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 hard because even if you take an additional 10 shifts with your same employer the salary that you are going to get at the end of the month is going to be below 2500 and just 2500 is very difficult to survive on it when you are here in uk so you really really have to push yourself the honest truth is that the healthcare assistance salary is not enough to cater for our needs the nurse's salary on its own is not enough to cater for our needs most of the people who work here in uk always supplement their salary one way or the other either doing agency work or taking extra shift it's very rare that you find someone who is satisfied and content with working just three days a week and say they're able to cover their bills this is the reality on the ground guys not only that what you also have to remember is that from that 1500 pounds that you are getting every month how much are you likely going to save because you need to buy plane tickets for your 
family you need to process their visas you need to pay for their tp tests and everything so how much can you save from 1500 pounds per month considering all these bills that you're going to incur on a monthly basis if you have not watched my video where i said nurses should not come as healthcare assistants to uk and i stated all the challenges watch that video and you'll have a clearer idea of what goes on here it's not a bed of roses and it's not as green as we think but half a loaf is better than nothing and i can never discourage anyone from coming if you want to come come do a thorough research first and weigh the pros and cons and when you make this decision make sure that you have thoroughly thoroughly checked everything check the rent of where you're going to be staying check the cost of living how much are the groceries how much is fuel how much is council tax how much how much are you going to be paying on your bills like gas electricity and all that check for transport system in the area because you do not want to come to UK and be miserable because you realize that your salary cannot even pay the rent where you're going to be staying. It's very important, guys, to do a thorough research. Thank you so much for watching, guys. May you kindly like, subscribe, and share this video with people you think are going to benefit from this video. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much, guys.